I think it's important to stress that when the foreign minister of the Israeli apartheid regime, Yair Lapid, uh, sits with Mohammed bin Zayed in Abu Dhabi, he will not only be conversing with the UAE, but he will also be conversing with Saudi Arabia. It's important to remember that Saudi Arabia has played a pivotal role in facilitating the normalization of ties between the UAE and Israel. It was Saudi Arabia that opened up its airspace to allow Israeli officials to go to and from the UAE and vice versa. It was Saudi Arabia that brutally silenced prominent Saudi figures who would have otherwise taken a staunchly pro-Palestinian stance and riled up public opinion in favor of the Palestinians against the illegal occupation. It is Mohammed bin Salman who has deployed the Saudi media apparatus in favor of the UAE in order to push this narrative that it represents a progress towards stability and peace as opposed to the perverse treachery that it actually is. In other words, Saudi Arabia has played an important proactive role in the normalization of ties and has invested heavily in ensuring that normalization of ties succeeds so much so that even during Israeli aggression against the Palestinians Saudi commentators and Saudi media were blaming the Palestinians for the escalation and not the Israelis who embarked with the provocations that included the storming of the Holy Mosque in Al-Aqsa and this is why while Saudi Arabia is unable to normalize officially as a result of the potential backlash that it will receive from the Muslim world the UAE acts as the facilitator, as the interlocutor, as the mediator between Israel and Saudi Arabia, as the, uh, the, as the facilitator of dialogue between Saudi Arabia uh, and between the Israelis. And it's important to remember that this visit by the foreign minister of the Israeli apartheid regime comes on the same day that the occupation begins to demolish homes in Silwan as it seeks to establish a tourist attraction, a theme park and the likes at the expense of the Palestinians who have been ousted from their homes. And Yair Lapid will be expecting UAE and Saudi Arabia to continue to push this narrative that the Palestinians brought it upon themselves because they rejected peace and they insisted on resistance in the assertion of their rights, their legitimate rights to a return to their land and to their property.